So guys, I have been using this thing here, the U-Perfect X14 Pro for about a week now, mostly in conjunction with my Galaxy Z Fold 4 and now my S23 Ultra. And I think it's time to do a full review. If you don't know what this thing is, I did an unboxing video already on this, but I'll quickly run through this. This is a lap dock, which is basically a laptop without internals. It's just a really big battery. And what you're meant to do with this thing is you're meant to either plug in an external device, think a Samsung phone, a Motorola phone using their desktop environment, something perhaps like a Nintendo Switch, a Steam Deck, or anything else that can use an external screen. And then also there's a mouse and a keyboard there that are both actually operating via Bluetooth as well as a USB-C port on the side. So let your imaginations run wild here because anything that you can think of that could make use of those types of peripherals are going to work with this thing. But now one of the coolest things about this one is that it is actually capable of doing some of the stuff wirelessly. So certain devices can connect to this thing fully wirelessly and use, uh, like I said, the keyboard, the touchscreen, so forth and so on. So keep in mind, this thing is not particularly inexpensive, okay? So $429, now they do have this promo code going now that will save you $55 if you go there and that code is gone. Use the promo code SHANE50 and you'll get $50 off. So either way you go, you should be able to save a little bit of money off of that total. But at any rate, you can see the price there. This thing is not particularly inexpensive, right? This is a fairly pricey device. And a lot of people have been asking, why would you spend over $400 on something like this when you could just buy a laptop? And I think I can kind of answer that question before we jump into the bulk of the review because I'm going to properly review this thing in this video. You should not think of this thing like a laptop, okay? Because it's not a laptop. It's a portable monitor with a mouse and keyboard. And no, I'm not actually trying to be pedantic. This is a peripheral. This is an accessory for something like your phone, right? So you've got your super powerful smartphone and all your files, all your apps, all your logins are all already on this thing. So you come home from a long day of work and you want to use your laptop. Well, what you do is you pull down your, your shade here, you click on the word DEX, and now you're using this device with all of that stuff synced up. You don't have to move files from one place to another. In fact, I posted a YouTube short that I shot on this thing. It was wirelessly connected to the lap dock. I filmed it. I then went on the lap dock, opened up LumaFusion and edited, edited that clip because I was filming it with this thing, which is connected to that thing. I didn't have to move any files around. The workflow was tremendously easy. It was really, really cool. So this is not a laptop. This is an accessory. And I'm going to show it hooked up to my Steam Deck. I'm going to show it hooked up to a Nintendo Switch. You'll see all of that stuff. So again, don't think of it as a laptop. Think of it as an accessory, and this thing does have a rather large battery. We'll look at the specifications here real quick, just so we have all this out of the way. It's a 14 inch 1080p panel, 16 by nine. I wish it was like three by two or something, but beggars can't be choosers. It is a good looking screen though, for sure. I really like the way that the screen looks. It is aluminum and material, and it is cold to the touch. It feels very, very nice. This thing feels very good. You're looking at nearly 11,000 milliamp hours of battery two to three hours to charge and five to six hours of use time. And both of those have been absolutely accurate for me. Okay, so let's start really talking about this device. Now, you may have noticed that this thing is very, very thin, and that is the case. It is a very thin, easy to carry around with you kind of device. It does, like I said, use USB-C for video out. There's also a mini HDMI cable that they send with it. You then do have a power button, an SD card reader. So if you actually plug the thing into a device, it becomes an SD card reader, which is very, very cool. There is a headphone jack, and then it does charge over USB-C. One of the big problems with a prior product of, ours, of theirs that I tried was that it charged with a barrel plug. That's garbage, that stinks, that problem is fixed here. So from a hardware perspective, it is quite nice. I should mention, it can fold all the way back around into a tent posture, into a tablet posture, whatever you want to do. The keyboard is actually very decently large. And let me just tell you, typing on this thing has been a shockingly fun experience. It has been an absolute delight. There's a good amount of key travel. It's honestly one of the better laptop keyboards I've used in a while. The trackpad 
there's a bit more nuance to that, and we're going to have to kind of talk about that in a little bit different of a way. So let's switch camera angles here. And I've got my uh, S23 Ultra here in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first power this thing up, which you can see how long it's going to take to actually power it up. The light just came on there. We do get a splash screen. And then here shortly, what we should have is a screen that tells you how to connect to this thing. And what you have to do is on your phone, you're going to go into your Bluetooth settings and you're going to pair it with the keyboard and with the screen. Now, I know that that sounds weird. You're pairing your phone to a screen, your device to a screen, but that is indeed how it works. Now, if you are on a Samsung device that uses DeX, you can simply hit your DeX button in your notification shade. It's going to see it. You might have to touch where it says Flipbook. It's already seen it. So mine just pops up and says connect and momentarily we will be fully connected and running DeX wirelessly on this thing. And you can turn your phone off, put it in your pocket, not turn it off. You can put it asleep and put it in your pocket, whatever you want to do. At that point, you're free to use this thing as if it is its own standalone device. Now, I will say that wirelessly, let's go full screen here on something like YouTube that I can scroll on. This may be difficult to notice straight away, you know, from this camera, but as you scroll through this thing, it definitely does have that look and feel of being like 30 FPS. But again, this is happening wirelessly. So that is, should be no great shock to you that things are going to have a little bit more latency. You know, you're going to notice that with your mouse and your trackpad, probably more than with anything else, because there just is a little bit of latency. And let me just tell you, in DeX, this trackpad is horrifically bad to try and use, okay? It is too fast. It's very, very odd. Now, what's really frustrating about it is if you go into your settings and you try and tweak some things about it, right? You try and change the scroll direction or really anything to do with this trackpad, the setting just does not take. I don't know if that's a DEX problem or if that is a problem with this hardware, but it is what it is. Now, when it's connected to other things, the trackpad feels okay. When it's on DEX, whether it's you know plugged in or not, it does not feel very good at all. Like I mentioned in my unboxing, see if I can make this uh, full screen here, the screen actually does look really, really good. It's nice and colorful and bright. It's, it's a pretty decent screen. The keyboard is fantastic, but that trackpad is a real problem. Another real problem is the speakers. Are the speakers? I'm not really sure which way I should actually say that. They are very quiet. They are very tinny. And in fact, I have gone to just using my phone as my set of speakers anytime I'm using this because they are a million times better than the speakers built into this thing. They are really, really bad. Like I said earlier, the battery life is not quite, you know, being that it's almost 11,000 milliamp hours, let me see here, 10,800. I expected the battery to be a bit better, but it pretty much what they said, five to six hours, that is pretty accurate. So not the best endurance that you've ever seen. And if you're going to charge your phone with this, that's going to reduce your endurance even further. And it does charge very, very slowly. I think it was somewhere around like five watts or something like that. It's quite slow. Now, all of that being said, I did primarily use this thing wirelessly with my Z Fold or my S23 Ultra. And it's fine, right? Like it's a totally usable experience. Now, if you do want to carry around a cable and you want to do it like this, which you're about to see, it is going to run quite a bit better. Okay, the, the trackpad goes from being horrible to being bad, but not, you know, unusable like it was before. It's a lot better. The scrolling speed is still a real problem for me. You Maybe you can see here that like just the smallest distance and it, it just takes off and you can't really turn it down, which is frustrating, but everything does become much more responsive and much smoother when it is plugged in. That should be no great shock to anyone. Now, what if you don't have a phone like this that runs DeX? Can you still use this thing wirelessly? Because of course, wired you can plug any phone into it that you so desire and everything's going to work fine. I've got here my Surface Duo 2 and I will show you how this works. So we're going to go down and look for our cast button, screen casting. Now by default, you're not going to actually see it there. You're going to have to click on settings and then you're going to have to touch up here and turn on enable wireless display. Can you see that there? And then you should see it. And at that point, you should be able to connect to it. Now you're going to have to leave this thing with the screen on, but there you go. It is totally functional as a wireless display. And again, you would have to pair the screen and the keyboard to it for this to work. 
And at that point, yeah, it's going to work just fine. You can see that it's matching the aspect ratio of the screen. But the latency, like, look, if you if you watch this here, really not too bad at all. It is a little bit delayed, obviously, because it's a wireless thing. But it's really not so bad. Now, if you just plug it in, that's going to get better. And I don't think you need to pair anything if you've plugged it directly and it's going to just act like a normal, like I think something you've plugged into it. Yeah, there you go. If you're just plugged in, the latency should be basically nil and everything becomes responsive without needing any Bluetooth or anything else wirelessly. So I mentioned using it with something like the Steam Deck. This is actually a pretty cool way to use this thing. So we're going to set this down for a moment. You grab my cable again. And we're going to plug the Steam Deck in. I'm just going to kind of set it down here in my lap, I guess. And what should happen very, very quickly is this. All right, there we go. So we have our trackpad working. And there you go. You're just running your Steam Deck off of this thing. Totally fine. Now, here's one problem, right? This thing is not charging quick enough to actually keep the battery charged, okay? So that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. This thing does not charge fast enough to do that. So small addendum to the uh, Steam Deck charging thing. There's actually a portion of screen over here in the corner. If you two fingers swipe down on, you get the controls. Basically you can change inputs and things like that. And you, maybe you can see this here, there's no charging and charging. So you can turn that on and now it is charging, but it is a slow charger. So that might slow down the discharge a little bit, but you're definitely not going to actually be charging the battery. But you can launch whatever game you wanna launch. Obviously the touch screen is, is working just fine. You can launch a game and you can actually play it with the trackpad, with the keyboard, a mouse, whatever you wanna use. You could also just use this as a glorified controller at that point. And as you can see here, it's gonna be a pretty good experience. This is a big, bright, colorful screen to be playing your games on, which is unequivocally better than the screen on the Steam Deck itself. And of course, you can launch into desktop mode on your Steam Deck and turn this thing into a Linux powered computer, which is also going to be pretty cool. And I really want to point out as we're loading into this, how much better the trackpad feels not in Dex. I don't know what is going on with a trackpad or a mouse in Dex, but it's horrible. The trackpad is not the problem, it's Dex. And now what you have is a pretty halfway decent Linux powered laptop running off of your Steam Deck with a really big, nice display, a nice keyboard, and honestly, a trackpad that when it's not in Dex is honestly not half bad. It makes me wonder, how are the speakers gonna sound? Yeah, still bad. So the speakers are bad no matter what is using it, but this is pretty cool, right? So, and this is kind of what I wanna keep hammering home. I'm gonna grab a switch here in a second, but you buy this thing because you're gonna use it with this, you're gonna use it with this, and you're gonna use it with your Switch. Maybe you're just gonna use it as a portable monitor. You're not gonna use it for one thing for $400. You're gonna wanna use it for multiple things, right? So as for the Nintendo Switch, plug it in. Now you're gonna have to bring up this little settings thing and turn on charging, because if the Switch isn't getting a charge, it's not gonna actually output the display, the touchscreen, the keyboard. None of that's actually going to function, and the buttons won't function on the console until you take it off of the thing because it thinks it's plugged into a TV and you're not going to be gaming holding on to your switch in a dock, right? So you got to either have another controller or take your joy cons off. And then at that point it's working fine. The speakers are working fine. They're kind of crummy speakers, but it's working just fine. Okay. You could actually take this thing and flip it upside down. And I think it actually has auto rotation which I haven't talked about. There you go, auto-rotation. So flip it around like that, and you've got a gigantic uh, portable screen for your Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this thing? A lot of it is very, very good. Most of the hardware, really, everything they've done here is very, very solid. This thing feels fantastic, but it's going to depend on what you're using it for. Really, the only weak point are those speakers. I wish the battery life was a bit better. Those are kind of the only things that really bug me about it. Everything else is really good. 
So back to the early question, you know, it's it's fairly expensive. Is it worth it? Well, it's going to depend on you. How much stuff, how much use are you going to get out of this thing? Are you going to be using it with your phone, your Steam Deck, your Switch, et cetera, et cetera? How many things are you going to use it for? That's going to be up to you to decide if this thing is worth it or not. I can't make that value proposition for you. What I will say is that with Dex, it's pretty good. With your Steam Deck, it's really good. With your Switch, it's pretty good. The screen looks nice for all these things. It's going to work pretty well for you. So if you're going to be using it for a lot of things, it may very well be worth it for you. And compared to the cheaper lap dock you perfect sent me before, this thing is light years better. The screen is so much better than that thing was. The keyboard is so much better. Like I actually enjoy typing on this thing. The keyboard is so good. So it's a solid piece of hardware. You've got to decide if it's worth it for you. All I can do is tell you what I think and demo some stuff. Guys, huge shout out to you, Perfect, for sending this thing over for me to review. I have an affiliate link to purchase it in the description down below. Use their promo code. Use my promo code if theirs is gone. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>